anything since you've gotten here. All right, you spend most of your time upstairs. You only come down to grab food or to watch TV once we've gone to bed. I mean, you can't even be bothered to have dinner with us most of the time. And now, you want to take off? To go God knows where? To take part in God knows what? I told you, it's a sleep study. Right. And that's all you've told me. I mean, I don't know why you're playing this so secretively, Wanda. It's like you're planning a jailbreak or something. Aren't I, though? I'm a grown woman, yet I feel as if I need to ask your permission to go and do what I want. You're right. You are a grown woman living rent-free in our house. I'm sorry that my divorce was such an inconvenience for you, Lucas. Oh, please, don't even start with that. This has nothing to do with that. All right, we are more than happy to open our home to you. But the issue I have is for weeks now, you've been saying you're gonna go buy your own car, which you haven't done, right? You've also said that you were gonna find a job. You haven't even filled out an application. You blame your lack of motivation on your anxiety and your depression, but you can't even pick up the phone to make a doctor's appointment. All right, I mean, I'm asking simple questions. And all I'm getting are dramatics. Dramatics? I'm not the one who's being dramatic. Look, I'm just asking to borrow the car for a few days so I can drive to Mineral, a place where people are expecting me to be. A job. Isn't that what this is really about? What do you mean? You think I'm milking this? Wallowing in my own self-pity. Oh, no, wait a minute, No, Wanda. just hear me out. Look, I understand. It's been hard having me here. I'm trying to get back on my feet. I can't begin to thank you enough for helping me. But now I just need a little more help. I just need to borrow the car, and then I'll come back with a little money, and maybe then... Maybe then I can take that next step forward. I just don't think it's a good idea. Why? Something seems off about this whole situation. First, you want me to go out 
and make money. Then you feel skeptical about the work I did find and want me to stay back. Why don't you make up your mind and get back to me? I just think your time would be better spent here on something more practical. Okay, listen, I'm not trying to be an asshole here. I'm not. When you and Glenn got divorced, you said you needed some time to better yourself. I'm sympathetic to that. I can't help but think you're using this as an opportunity to take off and just escape reality for a few days. Is that so wrong? How do you even know that this is a real thing, Wanda? I mean, you filled out some clickbait survey online. What are you gonna say when it turns out to be some sort of timeshare pitch or something? Well, I guess then you'll get the pleasure of telling me I told you so. <sighs> Please, Lucas, I need to go. I'd much rather drive myself there and back rather than, pff, I don't know, hitchhiking. God, there's the dramatics again. Gloria, Jesus. it's late. Let's just call it a night. We can talk about it again in the morning. I'll have to leave by at least one o'clock. Well, whose fault is that that you waited till the last minute? Let's just, let's go to bed. We'll talk about it again tomorrow, okay? Listen, at the table, we can have some breakfast, all right, at a decent hour. Okay? Fine, whatever. Who? What's up? I thought Gloria made you quit smoking. Uh, yeah, no, uh, she did. Looks like sneaking out runs in the family, huh? I, I wasn't. I was just gonna run to the store. I never thought you'd actually swipe my car, Wanda. Lucas, I... I some balls, you know that? I need to go. Go. Seriously, it's okay. You can go. I get it. I... I really am just trying to work on myself. Yeah, uh, clearly. I mean, the old Wanda... She'd still be upstairs in her room sulking right now, so... What are you gonna tell Gloria? You know, um... I don't know, but we'll talk about it in the morning. But hey, uh, do me a favor and bring my car back in one piece, though, okay? Otherwise, we are both going to get it. I love you, sis. You know that. I know you're going to find what you're looking for, okay? 
get out of here before you freeze to death. Hey, do me a favor, though. Pick that up. I don't want Gloria to find it. Excuse me, miss. You wouldn't happen to be Wanda Fulcia, would you? Yes, I am. My name's Victor. I'm the assistant to Dr. Pretorius. All right. Uh, if you just follow me up to the old school, that's where you'll be staying. The address brought me here. Yeah, the uh, Google Maps doesn't really pick up the building very well. Small towns like this. What did you say your name was again? Victor Fair, ma'am. And you work for the doctor? That is what I said, isn't it? Follow me up to the old schoolhouse. They're expecting you. Don't you want to get your things? I didn't bring anything with me. All right. I'll get the doctor.
This used to be the embalming room, you know. Jesus Christ. You scared the shit out of me. Name's Margarite, but my friends call me Margo. Oh, so you're not the doctor. Nope, like I said. <sighs> Name's Margo. I was joking, you know. What? I was joking about it being an embalming room. I figured as much. Well, aren't you gonna tell me your name? Duh, Ugh. Wanda, Wanda Fulcia. Mm. We've been expecting you. You work for the doctor? Oh, no, I, I didn't know who he was until I got the email saying this was a quote unquote sleep experiment. Right. But don't worry, everything seems to be on the up and up. What? Well, that's what you're worried about, isn't it? That this was yet another letdown, or better yet, something sinister. How do you know what I'm thinking? You wear your thoughts on your sleeve, Wanda. Ah, there you are. I'm Dr. Richard Pretorius. This here is Theodore Olsen. Hi. And you've already met Victor, I assume. Hi, it's, it's nice to meet you. My name is Wanda. Wanda Fortier. Yeah, we've been expecting you. Uh, now it's a party. We're just uh, waiting on one more. If you'll just follow me to the back of the room now, uh, we can perform the exam while we wait. It's extremely invasive. Now, take a deep breath. And again. Well, doctor, <laughs> am I dying? We're all dying, Miss Fortier. It's just a matter of how long. <sighs> well, we're going to use this as the main operating room. <laughs> the center for operations. Hmm, cheerful. Oh, I don't know. Nothing is more comforting than my sixth grade math class. Oh, so you're from around here? Oh, no, 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 no. I uh, grew up in Idaho Falls, actually. I just mean that, well, you know, once you've seen one small town school. Everywhere's Villa USA. Well, yes, look, believe it or not, until fairly recently, this school was used as a overflow ward for the local hospital during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, it was supposed to be torn down when the city commissioned a new building to be built in town. But luckily, my funding came through just in time. It's a perfect place to conduct group studies, don't you think? More than accommodating lodging with plenty of living space and quite the aura of academia to it. The plan is for doctors like myself to use this sort of shared space to conduct our research. What is it exactly that you're researching? criminally under-researched phenomenon known as sleep paralysis. But I've never experienced sleep paralysis. Exactly why you were chosen. I don't understand. The good doctor here thinks he can give it to us. <laughs> Look, I'm not taking any experimental drugs. You won't have to. This is strictly a holistic study. Now, all I need is your time and open minds. As soon as our last guests arrive, I'll be more than happy to fill you in. Hello. It just so happens that time is now. Ha, oh, fuck me. Welcome, Wagon. Oh, you must be Porter Watson and Dr. Pretorius. What's up, Doc? Hey, you got a place where I can stash my stuff? Yes, I'll have my assistant Victor show you to your room here shortly. Perfect. Baby. Hey, yo, Doc. How about introducing me to the rest of the band? Cleopatra, isn't it? Marguerite Swanson, our resident fortune teller. But my friends call me Margo. Logger, Theodore Randolph. Hey. What up, man? And Mrs. Wanda Fulcia. Miss Wanda Fulcia. So, uh, I'm afraid I didn't catch a social security occupation for you there, Miss Fulcia. Well, I'm in a bit of a transitional period at the moment. Ha. A woman after my own heart. 
Oh, I gotta say, if you two ladies are the specters that haunt these gloomy halls, well, I'm still glad that I came. Now that you're all here, can I offer you all the drink back in the operations room? Oh. Yo, this surprise party just keeps getting better and better, don't it? And again? Well done, you pass. You know, I didn't hear nothing about them flying colors. You're awfully thorough for a sleep study there, Doc. My research is all free thorough. And what is that, exactly? We were just getting to that when you arrived. And before the welcome wagon was summoned. My sincerest apologies, y'all. Quite the hassle. You really threw a wrench in the whole operation, man. Yeah, Mama says I got a knack for doing that. You best get a hold of your class, Doctor. Yes, as some of you may have guessed, I belong to a collective of independently funded researchers dedicated to solving the biggest mystery since man first arrived on the scene. The human mind. Couldn't have picked a better study group, I'll say. Well, being someone with degrees in both psychiatry and hypnotherapy, I've long been fascinated with disorders that accompany generalized anxiety, post-traumatic stress, and obsessive compulsion. None of that was on the survey, Doctor. No, no, it wasn't. How many of you here have heard of sleep paralysis? Good. I can spare you most of the gory details about shadow creatures and witch demons. Now, as you may have guessed, it has been proven that the majority of people who experience sleep paralysis and night terrors have also been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress and panic attacks. The reason for these outbursts uh, is due to the overstimulation of the amygdala and the mid-interior cingulate cortex. Um, the same center is, of course, tied to nightmares, hence sleep paralysis. You're losing me, Doc. <sighs> yeah, can you fast forward to the part where, I don't know, we can understand? Yes, yeah, certainly. My purpose here is to try and find a way that we deal with both sleep paralysis and night terrors, though the focus is on the latter. Now, as I mentioned to you, Wanda, previously, I don't plan on using any experimental drugs. Similarly, I don't plan on using electrotherapy or lobotomizing you. So there's no need to worry. We aren't living in the days of Dr. Frankenstein. I believe there is an option for a more holistic approach because the overstimulation of this part of the brain is the reason for these issues. And through my research into hypnosis and cognitive behavioral therapy, I believe that we can find a way to, you know, open the door, if you will, to where these issues lie. Now, I specifically chose you four because of your lack of experience to sleep paralysis. That is evidence that this door has never been opened. But the goal through understanding how to open it is then to understand how to reverse engineer it closed again without the use of psychotropic drugs, which ends up being more than a mask for these demons rather than a solution. How ghostly. Uh, don't get ghostly and ghoulish confused. I, I sense that. Look, I, I'm training on, in, in, in layman's terms, the, the study itself, I'll be hypnotizing you as a group. And with any luck, I will excite that part of the unconscious mind. And I'll monitor your sleep habits for a couple of days. And if successful, I'll reverse the process. I'm sorry. <clears throat> You're going to hypnotize us? Now that is ghostly. Look, look, I, I can I can assure you I am uh, very experienced and have been able with to help people with unlocking memories to further deal with their trauma and therapy sessions. You're, you're in good hands. I'm, I'm sorry for the skepticism. I just, I don't know. Well, could be the biggest trip I've ever taken. Oh, man. Your sanity is nothing to gamble with. <laughs> I've leveraged a lot more than that for a dollar. <laughs> You're here. Man, I knew there was something about you. Uh, what do you mean? 
I don't know. I just figured you looked a bit strange to to be a doctor. Bro, well, perception is everything. And your name, Pretorius. Well, it's <laughs> it's it's half German. Nah, nah, that's not it. Yo, why do I feel like I've heard that name before? Well, my my great grandfather was quite famous back home. Huh. Okay, so at what point, Doc, do you try to sell us your tofu wheatgrass supplements out of the trunk? I take it you don't believe in hypnosis as a legitimate form of therapy. Nah, and I don't believe in energy crystals either. Oh. Or I thought your brutish persona was just an act. Hey, look here, baby girl. I'm just as open-minded as the next guy, but this kind of homeopathic stuff just ain't my jam. Shocker. Look, I'm just saying, there's a reason why my grandma lived to be 83 years old, and it wasn't because of ginseng or water chestnuts. Look, this might come as a surprise to you, but just because you kicked around the same city blocks your whole life to become a what? amateur boxer doesn't mean there isn't a whole world of possibilities out there that you couldn't even begin to imagine. This, listen, I'm, I'm not denying the importance of modern medicine, Mr. Watson. My interest is strictly in cognitive behavior. See, that's the thing. That's what I mean with these whole people that think smoking weed and chia seed oil is the cure for everything, and that the ancient Chinese had it all figured out with natural medicine, even though the life expectancy is of a 1500 China was 25. <laughs> You're all over the place. I don't even know what your point is. All right, look, my point is this. If you got sleeping issues, they made a pill for it. Well, there's not a pill for everything. Yeah, exactly. No one's making you stay here. Yeah. If you want to leave, the door is right there. Oh, whoa. Whoa, chill. Who said anything about leaving? Look, a couple hundred bucks to play Chris Angel Mind Freak? Yeah, I'll stick around. Even if it is to keep a fair, skeptical opinion. Glad to hear it. Now, if the rest of you wish to continue on with the study, we will begin first thing tomorrow afternoon, and after dinner, I will have you leave your keys and phone with my assistant, Victor, who will return next Friday after the exam is over. Our keys? Have you ever heard of a man named Kenneth Hawkins? So Kenneth, he suffered from a ever worsening sleep disorder, which led him to sleepwalk. So one night, he climbed into his car. He drove up the wrong lane. Just here on the interstate, on, on I-12. It was one of the many tragic cases of sleep driving. <laughs> Man, that shit sound made up. Most things do until it happens. Now tonight, I want you to relax. Carry on the way you would in any other setting. Then there's drink and food in the cafeteria, and hopefully, a bottle of scotch. Ha <laughs> you read my mind. Hey, maybe you are a mystic after all, Doc. Theo, another one? Hell yeah, player. Hey, yo, Doc, you might have to conjure some more makers. <laughs> I don't imagine it'll last the whole week. I can't tell if you're actually being funny or you really are that ignorant. Oh, it could be true. Jeez, I'm just breaking balls. Mm. Maybe somebody ought to break yours. <clears throat> is that an invitation? Hey, what is it you do again? Voodoo practice? I'm a bank teller, but I also practice tarot card readings on YouTube. So is she like the plant? There is a world of difference between spiritualism, hypnotherapy, and voodoo. It's all shit. It's all crock. No offense, Doc. No, none taken. Your skepticism is exactly why you're, you were chosen. In order for the study to be a success, I'll need to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt. Shadow of doubt. That title suits you well. Haven't you guys ever heard of people being operated on while being under hypnosis? Shit, I've heard a lot of things. Then how do you explain a surgical blade being stuck into someone without them drawing a single drop of blood? It's all bullshit. I've actually seen it happen. Really? Yeah, I was at a show. Well, there you have it. 
I'm serious. I watched this guy get stuck with a needle in his arm and he didn't even feel a thing. Interesting. Although I wouldn't exactly recommend it. Hypnosis should only really be performed by a proper licensed hypnotherapist. At the P.T. Barnum Institute. Well, it should be used to create a state of focus of attention. Focused attention in the treatment of a medical or psychological disorder. What exactly is it that you find so interesting about sleep paralysis? Other than being a victim of it myself. Really? Well, during my nightmarish years of internship at Mercy West, I was so mentally exhausted and more anxious than my conscious mind was aware of. It was two or three nights a week for a year. Jesus, I can't imagine. You won't have to long enough. Well, yeah, I mean, the history also fascinated me. The first recorded case of sleep paralysis wasn't documented until 1666 by a Dutch physician who referred to it as the incubus. I mean, it's intriguing to me that over all these hundreds of years, the symptoms and the experiences have all remained the same. The same shadow-like witch woman. Most commonly referred to as the hag, and no doubt having something to do with our more animalistic side of the brain, conjured up from that deep, dark, primordial jelly that we inherited from the time of the dinosaurs. Mass suggestion, maybe. The law of the time was that. I mean, Edward Kelly, he was a 17th century necromancer who claimed to have the powers to communicate with the dead, was to blame thinking he had cursed a town with the Devil's Plague. Don't worry, I highly doubt superstition and spiritualism is afoot. <laughs> Don't be so sure. Uh-oh, way to alienate your base there, Doc. There's just so much we can't yet comprehend and we don't know about the universe around us. So who's up for a little music? I got my boombox. One can be entirely faithful to the path of inquiry and honesty while also embracing the totality of your human experience. I'm gonna go get my boombox. It would be ignorant as truth seekers to be close-minded to any possibility. Well, I suppose you're right. Until fairly recently, we were convinced that the atom was the smallest unit of matter until it was split you know, unleashing the progress into the atomic age. Not exactly the most comforting comparison to make. Perhaps not. <laughs> all right, all you go for booze. Come to the dance floor. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> May I? Of course. You're not a dancer? No, not really. Why, are you propositioning me? I'm, af I'm afraid not. I'm unable to on, the, on account of my terribly debilitating condition. I've got two left feet. They've played me my whole life. Yeah, I can relate, you know, in a sense. You know, shyness or anxiety. Yeah. I've been attempting to get myself out there more. I'll take more risks. Hence my being here, uh, drinking whiskey in an elementary school. Interesting. Uh, you know, this here is precisely the reason I got into psychiatry. Getting smashed in a school? No, that's one of the many perks. But understanding all the personalities that make up this world figuring out what makes them tick. What, what are you hoping to gain from this, really? What do you mean? Well, you don't seem to fall on either side of the warring fences. 
and you don't appear to be overly concerned about the payment and you certainly just like the others don't really believe in my hypothesis well doctor what conclusion do you come to well i'm sensing some major recent life changes yeah I think I'm just searching for some confidence. You're stronger than you think you are, Wanda. Hey, guys, come on. We're gonna hit the dance floor to what off the evil spirits. Let's go. Everybody comfortable? Yes. I'm getting sleepy, Doc. Very sleepy. Shut it. You can make me. I will ask you all to just settle down and reduce the hostility. I'm not hostile. Do I seem hostile to any of you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn, my bad. I'll uh, follow every instruction. Okay. Let's begin. Now, please close your eyes and take a deep breath. Now, listen for a moment. Listen to the sounds around you. Just let yourself sink into the grooves of the chair. Fix your eyes on a spot in the dark. It doesn't matter where, just fix your eyes on the spot in the dark and begin to relax. If you have any thoughts, just let them drift through your mind like beautiful clouds across a clear blue sky. They drift through your mind and away from you. Through your mind and away as you relax. Deeper, 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 relaxed. That's it. Just let go and relax. Now, I want you to imagine a staircase standing in front of you with 10 wide, safe stairs down, down to a perfect relaxation, down to peace and contentment down towards happiness that you deserve. As I count down from 10, I want you to take one step with each number. One step down the staircase. 
Ten. Nine. Eight. There's some letters at the bottom of the stairs that are out of focus. Can you see that? Seven. Six. Five. The letters are being clearer, closer we get. Four, three, two, one. You can almost see it now. The letters. They smell. Trust. Trust. I need a minute. never experienced anything like that before. I know, right? It was, it was like a nightmare. Screaming. You heard screaming? Yeah, someone screaming like, wake me up! What do you remember seeing? Dr. Pretorius, you gotta hear this. Wanda and I had similar experiences. The woman, the, the, the black figure. What the fuck are you trying to pull here, Doc? It's, oh, it's remarkable. I mean, are you telling me we all saw the same thing? Or went to the same place? How is that possible? Look, a, a form of mass suggestion, I suspect. <laughs> How's that? Look, we, we, we all sat around and discussed the common experiences of sleep paralysis together. Your unconscious minds drew on that conversation in the projections it used. So how do you explain the screaming? Right. Someone wake me up. That shit wasn't part of the discussion, Doc. I knew I never should have fucking left Idaho Falls. This whole thing has bad juju written all over it, man. Look, I, I can assure you that there's nothing to be concerned about. I need to make sure I take complete preliminary notes. Please just help yourself to some food or, or a drink. I'll, I'll join you all shortly. I, th I think I need to be alone for a little while. smoked. I don't. <laughs> well, you know if there ever is a perfect time to start, and you know the doc is knocking around in your head, maybe he can lock the door to the nicotine addiction. That was really strange, you guys. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. No, I, I mean, even Dr. Pretorius seemed caught off guard. What did I tell you guys about this black magic? 
It's sick shit. Try not to get too sloshed tonight. I want accurate notes in the morning. What are you expecting us to experience tonight? No expectations, but with any luck, a few moments into your REM cycle, you'll experience a textbook case of sleep paralysis. But what if we don't? If you don't, well, my study's off to a rough start. <laughs> hey, Doc, uh, we still get our money, though, right? Oh, yes. You'll be a part of the study for the full seven days until Victor returns with your keys. But you could call him, though, couldn't you? Of course. Anytime. Not before you unfuck my head, man. All right, guys. So, what are we drinking to? Uh, to progress. To progress. 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
What's all this commotion? We can't find Theo. Well, what do you mean? Look around, Doc. He ain't here. Well, he didn't just disappear. Last night, we all we all heard him. It was it was awful. It, it was, wait, it was wait, like wait, last it was... night. Because we all saw it. Saw so what? Do, oh, did you experience the sleep paralysis? Yeah, you better fucking believe we, we did. We all did. We all saw the exact same thing, and we all heard. You trying to tell me you didn't hear nothing, Doc? What? Theo. He was screaming for someone to help him, and now he's missing. What's happening? Look, let's just all calm down. Um, let's go back to the operations room. Um, you say you all heard this as well? Yes! yes! Doctor, we have to find Theo. He'll turn up. The screams were so loud. They echo through the halls. I mean, as long as I've lived, I've never heard anything like that before. You all had the same experience? Right down to what the thing looked like. Imagine sharing a bad hair day. That's amazing. Who was the first to share their occurrence this morning? Wanda and I woke up at nearly the exact same time. And then, and then we woke up Porter once we realized that Theo was missing. Uh. You informed Wonder of your experience? We both knew. But who was who shared the details first? I'm not sure. Why? Have you heard of a phenomenon for Wali Adu? Doctor. Last night, Theo was screaming for someone to help him, and now he's missing. What do you think happened to him? I don't think we know, but shouldn't you be more concerned? I'm very concerned with his well-being, as I am with all of you. You've all just experienced for the first time what it's like to live with a sleep disorder. This can be extremely distressing for some. My guess is that Theo needed to be alone after such trauma, uh, or most regrettably, he took himself home on the bus he came in on. That doesn't sound so regrettable to me, Doc. Well, without proper treatment, poor Theo may suffer from a debilitating sleep disorder from here on. You mean without the hypnotherapy? It's entirely possible. It's also equally as possible that last night was just a coincidence and had nothing to do with the study in the first place. A sample size such as this really tells us nothing. Oh gosh, I just feel so paranoid. You know, what really worries me is you hear stories like this about people being stuck together 
sharing the same paranoia, like mass hysteria. Diet loves passing shit. I used to, um, I used to watch those YouTube channels, like five unsolved mysteries that keep you up late at night about families being away at a cabin and tearing each other apart for seemingly no reason at all. And if I'm being honest, I'm really starting to get scared. My ex, Glenn. It's like he woke up one day, his entire mood and outlook had shifted. It was like he was a new person with a clear sense of what he wanted. He had come to the realization that that wasn't a life with me. I couldn't understand how something like that could happen so quickly. Now I, I think I'm starting to understand. What's the verdict? Don't tell me you're all still worried about last night. Come on, what should we drink to? How about to Theo? I told you that he probably left early this morning, and it turns out I was right. Now, why don't we drink to success? How do you figure success back? Well, you're all still here, aren't you? And last night went to be as expected. Even a small bit of success is still a success. Doctor, how do you know that Theo left on his own accord? Come with me. Now, I would suggest that you all get in the habit of fully reading your contracts before signing them. So you saw what happened last night? I reviewed it after interviewing the three of you. Hey, Doc, uh, we should probably talk about what you want to do with that footage. No, don't worry. Your extracurricular activities have already been erased. <laughs> Please. Look, I only have five cameras, and this one's facing the entrance. This is weird. I, I don't think he'd just get up and leave like that. We should go to the police. Uh, we can, but I believe they would require more than 48 hours before doing much about it. But, but if it would make you feel a lot better. Leave 
the sign says girls. Yeah, I'm not into the whole gender identity thing. So how are you feeling? About? Everything that's been going on? I'm just trying to stay rational. Yeah. I swear, if another person makes a run for it in the wee hours in the morning, I'm going full ramble on this bitch. Mm. Likewise. talking about. God, she came in through the door. She looked right at me. Porter, like where are you going? To check the fucking cameras. All right, let's let's figure out how to rewind. Menu playback. There. What's he doing? Sleepwalking. So what we heard last night was what, a nightmare? But Dr. Pretorius did walk up out of here like Theo. I mean, that's insane. Fuck this. I'm out.
Where are you going? Home. To hospital. Anywhere but fucking here. Good idea. Wait! Just wait a minute. For what? We have to find the doctor and Theo. Fuck that. I said we call the police and let them handle it. And as far as us, I said we find the nearest bus stop and get the fuck out of here until Vincent or Victor or whatever the fuck his name is comes back. I'm not so sure that's gonna work. Something's happened to us, you guys. Yeah. Yeah, something did happen. We're being punked. Or worse. We're all actually fucking disappearing one by one. Then we have to do something. Great plan, Napoleon. Porter! You coming? Maybe we're overreacting. Look, I'd rather overreact than underreact when it comes to people fucking disappearing. Let's just think about this, okay? We're all having these dreams, right? And we know that something's happening to the person that gets up and Fuck leaves this. in the middle of the night. Fuck this. Porter. Bye. Wait, I'm, I'm, no, I'm wait. fucking out. Porter. Well, go, go on. With what? Where you were going with that? I don't know. What's the real reason you don't want to leave, Wanda? How do you know that isn't? You wear your thoughts on your sleeve. I got nowhere else to go. Maybe, maybe, maybe we can find his assistant's phone number or something? Get him to help us? Yeah, there's a plan. Okay, right. okay. This is Wanda, Wanda Fulchia. Who? Wanda, from the sleep study. All right, Wanda, sleep study. We really need you to come back here. Something, something strange has happened. Can you get over here quick? You know, I could lose my job for something like that. I, uh, you read your contract, right? Listen. Theo went missing, okay? Porter just left, and we can't find Dr. Pretorius. We need you to get over here. Will you please- Look, put the doctor on the phone. He's missing, okay? He's not here. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, all right, I'll see what I can do. Thank you, thank you so much, okay? Okay, see you soon. Thank you. No, not really. Huh. What? It's an article. So? Nightmares suspected in bed deaths of 18 Loatians. Shut your fucking mouth. What the fuck is this? Yeah, it's from 1981. The Department of Health and Human Services in Atlanta is conducting an intensive inquiry into the manner in which 18 apparently healthy Loatian refugees died mysteriously in their sleep. Why the fuck is this in his fucking notebook? I'm not sure.
doctor was really obsessed with the details of the sleep paralysis experience. It's truly fascinating. I'd probably inquire more about that if I wasn't so afraid for my life right now. Seriously, he goes on for pages about the hag. I mean, he's got quotes and like this one. I remember hearing a roaring sound and seeing a shadowy figure standing in the middle of my room, either saying my name and laughing or just watching me. It was so real. I refused to sleep as a child, but when I told my mom, she didn't take me seriously until it started chasing me. I would wake up and it was still there. It started chasing me around my room. Chester Fair, 10, 22, 20. Wanda, what the fuck? Chester Fair, Victor Fair. Is that like his brother? Wanda, what difference does it make? Look, I'm less interested in what's actually happening and more interested in what's making it happen. Is, is there a way to stop it? I don't know. should have gone too. I think that would have been a mistake. Well, yeah, how do you know? Just a gut feeling. I wonder where Porter is right about- Oh, Wanda! What? <gasps> what? The doctor! I just saw him and Theo! Are you sure? I looked right at them! Doctor! Theo! <laughs> shoot! Shoot! My bad. My bad. Guys, find him or what? We just saw them. You did? Well, I didn't. I swear I saw them walking down the hall. Just now? Yes, goddammit! Oh, oh fuck, they didn't go this way. I would have saw them. What are you doing back here? Look, the bus station comes around once a day, all right? And I just fucking missed it. And this place is like a ghost town. Did you guys know the police station closes on the weekends? But, but, but I did manage to flag down a patrol car from a few towns over. And what do they say? Not much. Other than that, they'll keep an eye out for the both of them and report it as a potential missing persons. That's it? Great. So, did you guys make any dinner? I'm starving. <sighs> no? So, what's the plan, Napoleon? Me? Yeah, you. I mean, you're the only person here trying to find a solution, and well, my plan for the bus doesn't pan out in the morning, so. Let's hear it. Um. Well, the doctor had documented 
extremely thoroughly how to perform the hypnosis. So? So, Margot has some experience with that kind of stuff. Whoa, I only perform tarot card readings as a hobby. I mean, but, but we could try to perform the hypnosis on one of us. I, I just don't think yeah, I can- Yeah, th that's out. Any other ideas? No? No. Well, I guess we'll just never sleep again. I mean, how hard could that be, right? Yeah, I mean, what about that? Right? Two of us stay up, watch the other one. I mean, that way if something weird starts happening, we can wake the person up. At least that way we'll know what's going on. All right. Margo, call it. Uh, uh, heads. Heads. You ladies better brew up some coffee. It's gonna be a long night. Jesus Christ. What? I... Um, I, I made it to the end of his journal. And? And... All it says is... It no longer appears to be a matter of inward projection. The door was opened and... Something has gotten outside. What the fuck does that mean? look nice, doesn't it? Ugh, I can't wait for the morning to come and for Porter to wake up and we can all laugh about that one time we almost went crazy. Hilarious. I'm gonna go splash some water on my face. Hey, watch him. Oh, hey, can you make some more coffee? On it.
What? He's gone. Oh my god. Margo! I'm sorry, I'm what the fuck asleep. happened? I fell asleep. Oh, okay. You have to listen to me, alright? No. Yes, Margo, you have to listen to me. Okay? We're gonna fix this. We're gonna fix this. Okay? Alright, come on. We're gonna do this. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. No, I don't want to do it. You have to sit down, okay? I don't want to. Look at me. No, I don't want to die. You're not gonna no. die. Margo, you need to calm down. You need to calm down and relax, okay? Can you just relax? Did you take a deep breath, sit back, and relax? Can you trust me? Margo, do you trust me? Okay. Imagine a staircase, 10 wide, safe stairs down. You're standing at the top of those stairs. I need you to take one step down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Deeper. Deeper relaxed. <gasps> now listen to me, Margo. We opened ourselves up to the forces around us. We opened that door. And when you come back, you're gonna have that door closed. When you come back, you're gonna be less receptive to things, less receptive than you've ever been. But you're gonna come back with that door closed. Listen to me, Margo. I need you to close that door. Somebody wake me up! You get some water and we can talk. Marco? How do you feel? All right? No. No! 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 Walk me home on that note.
is locked in la la land Worried we could wake up at our arms again Steady apparatus boiled in ink from the thrones Something doesn't measure and I can't relate A heavy head for something while the brain remains Tethered in the lies you spend all 